Hey guys, Carl here from GameReviewHU.net and today we're going to look closely to this awesome MMORPG game, Marvel Heroes 2015. Marvel Heroes 2015 is a game published and developed by Gazillion Entertainment, who is under by David Bravik himself, the person behind the famous classic Diablo 1 and Diablo 2. The game was officially released on June 4, 2013 when it was still called Marvel Heroes, but by June 4, 2014 it was renamed to Marvel Heroes 2015. At launch, the game had received mixed reviews, therefore giving it a little bit below average rating in most cases. However, by post rename of the game, it had received an incredible amount of positive reviews, rocking it above average score from critics and users reviewers alike. Before proceeding to my first look review, take note that I am not the biggest fan of Marvel, nor read the comics, so I may have little knowledge about the Marvel Universe lore. Nevertheless, what is exactly Marvel Heroes 2015? Marvel Heroes is a free-to-play, massively multiplayer online game, but this is not your typical MMO game as it is set in the Marvel Universe. Marvel Heroes are a combination of your typical MMORPG, but instead of creating your character, you are given the choice to pick your favorite Marvel Heroes to play. There are setbacks though from whom you can pick early in the game, but we will tackle that later in the video. The story of Marvel Heroes is created by comic book writer Brian Michael Bendis, which is also known by his Ultimate Spider-Man, New Avengers, House of M, Secret Invasion, Avengers vs X-Men, and many more. Here's the intro cuts into Spice and Hype you. you. You might just download it after watching it. I'm Uatu, the Watcher. I have been charged with observing your world since before humanity reigned as the dominant species. I have watched your greatest explorers become your greatest heroes. I have watched you turn accident into triumph. <laughs> I have watched selfless acts Three, two, define a lifetime. I have seen the flash of genius. Define the future. I have watched legends born. And return when most needed. I have watched adversity turn into purpose. Over and over again, I have watched all of this and so much more because that is the task bequeathed to me by the universe. But I can stand by and watch no more. I have watched you, Victor Von Doom. I know what you are planning, and it cannot be allowed. Humanity is at an important crossroads. The future of your species is at stake. So today, I have broken my Watcher's vow to never interfere with the course of humanity. I am here to stop you! I have so little respect for those who do not know their place! You do not know the power you abuse. And you do not seem to know how to be silent! The power of the cube is mine to control. You are a fool to come here. You have no one to blame but yourself! Please, no humans. 
can hold such power. You're wrong! One can. Let's get to the actual gameplay now. At the start of the game, you are given choices of heroes to pick from, like Hawkeye, Captain America, Colossus, Cyclops, Black Widow, Human Torch, and etc. More heroes will be unlocked using Eternity Splinters which is going to be discussed later. Also you can play all of the starter heroes until level 10 and you've got to choose who to uncap so you can level that hero to level 60 which is the highest level up up to now and I think I heard on the news that they won't be adding or increasing the level cap so that's that. I pick Human Torch as he's probably one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe and he's a range type character so it's an advantage most of the time. Let me discuss about what I think about the graphics. It is so stunning to see, especially when there is a lot of heroes and villains in the screen, the details in the environment looks high resolution which is great since the game is 13.6GB. That's really huge for an MMORPG. Character models are very detailed, heroes and villains alike, heck you can even buy a new costume but, but it costs real money so it's a bit pain in the wallet. But the default costumes look decent anyway, it just looks ugly when there's a lot of heroes in the same area with the same costume. Anyway, the animation here is butter smooth. I really love it and it all blends well especially with all the heroes have different skills. The mobs or guns are identical but hey, it's alright for me since I love it when there are 30s and 15s of them and they just kill them all with an awesome skill. And it's good that different maps have different type of enemies which is a plus for me. How about the gameplay? It's very similar to Jablo 1 and Jablo 2, even Jablo 3. You grind and grind until you level up. There are also tons of quests and there are a lot of events happening at the same time so we'll never get bored playing this game. Like I said in the beginning you can play the starter heroes but you cannot level them past level 10 unless you buy them through in-game credits or buy real cash currency. Like I said in the beginning you can play all the starter heroes but you cannot level them past level 10 unless you buy them through uh, having eternity splinters or buy real cash currency. You can also buy new heroes. Uh, which are originally locked. Some are cheap, but some are really expensive. In addition, acquiring sprinters to buy heroes is actually hard and time consuming, given that enemies only drop 1 to 5 sprinters after a certain amount of time. You can also buy team up heroes, which will help you in battle if cold. Sadly, they almost cost the same as the main hero's roster, so it's kind of annoying. They should be available by buying them with in game cash, but no, it has to be splinters or real cash. Damn it. <laughs> I guess my only problem about this game is the lack of customization. For me, it, it would be more awesome if we could create our own heroes rather than choosing an N16 Marvel hero. But that's not all. The game is lacking on it as there's no actual character customization at all, building a human torch with high durability and fighting for example, or building Hulk with speed that is actually faster than Iron Man or that, well, anything. There's no there's not no such thing as that in this game. Instead, it will be a passive increase as you level up with no control over it. It may increase when you equip your hero equipment with buffs, which is really easy to get, thankfully. I love how the loots are so rewarding and so generous, and have the loot drop is 92% compatible to your hero, which is good so you don't have to go back and forth selling unnecessary items. The game also focuses more on improving and leveling up your power set, in which they are divided into three categories. Each have their own playstyle or mechanic. Power sets differ from one hero to another, giving ton of variety to choose from. And by default, you can have two types of power sets, and which you can choose back and forth depending on the situation. I must say I love how the battle system works on this game, especially since there are a lot of active players and there's a lot of events going on in the map you are in. The enemies are massive, so grinding is really easy on this game. There's also a crafting system which is pretty basic and easy to learn. Also, there's a PvP, but it's not yet refined as it's still on beta. The soundtrack of this game is really good and upbeat. I also really appreciate the cutscenes of this game, but it has this comic feeling to it. Voice acting is a huge plus, as something your hero greets other heroes as they pass by, but well, they seem generic, but sometimes they're not, so it's like a mixed one. <laughs> so, now what are the pros and cons of Marvel Heroes 2015? Well, pros are the game has a huge roster to choose from, even the starter heroes, there are already many to start the game. The game is dynamic as it has a huge player base, everything is moving, it's also amazing how the devs keep updating the game to suit their player needs. 
The story is actually good and interesting. The cutscenes are decent and feels like a moving comic. That's a freaking good addition. Grinding for loot and level up are so easy and rewarding at uh, the early part of the game and hopefully it will last on at uh, the post story game. Lastly, the graphics is very detailed. All heroes and villains are detailed even if not zoom in. That's the same with the environment, dude. It's pretty dynamic, pretty alive. But there are cons of this decent game. There is little to no customization for your hero at all. Everything is based on leveling up your power set, which is dumbed down and boring. Getting splinters to unlock your favorite heroes take a lot of time. Co costumes cannot be bought for in-game cash. And the game is huge. It's 13.6 insulation and almost 3GB of patch. The gameplay can also be repetitive, so if you are not a fan of it, you might hate this game. Marvel Heroes 2015 is a very decent game. If you are a huge fan of Marvel Hero Universe, this may be the game for you as there's a huge roster of Marvel Heroes waiting for you, and they keep adding more and more every month. But if you hate grinding over and over again for hours, then you might get tired of this game easily, as acquiring Eternity Splinters take a lot of time. This is my thoughts and impression of Marvel Heroes 2015. Again, I am Carl from GameReviewHU.net signing off. Bye!